welcome to my Timu Rat Hall video. For those of you who aren't familiar, Timu is an online retailer of affordable items, usually generic things drop shipped from China. Here we have the first item that I got in my unboxing. We've got a small animal playpen. It cost $13.04 when I bought it and was quite large. This was my daughter's favorite, a pet hammock. It was made out of fleece and Sherpa and is very soft and quite nice and as you can see it's got a decent amount of stretch to it. So there's some clips on the corner for attaching it to the cage and it appears to be pretty much identical to those that I've found on Amazon for about twice the price because this was only three dollars and thirty seven cents. Then we've got a T-shaped canvas tunnel this was made out of some sort of a nylon canvas on both the outside and the inside with some sort of plastic tubing to kind of reinforce the entrance to the tunnels. It does look like it was washable and waterproof. So it looks like it'll be a very nice addition for my rats if they like it. And it was fairly well made and decently put together. I think they'll like it. Here we have a purple small animal hammock. This is almost identical to the one that I bought myself at one of the local pet retailers for more than twice the price. I think it was probably closer to three or four times the price. And it's got the middle metal clips on the end again for attaching it to the various bars in your cage. The inside was lined with false fur and it was a velveteen corduroy on the outside. The clips seem to be plenty strong enough, so I'm not worried about it. And here we've got a fleece Sherpa lined tunnel with a cute little polyester outside design. Uh, my daughter struggled a little bit getting it open, but she did seem to really enjoy it. And it was so soft. It's a nice big size, good enough for rats or large hamsters. Clearly the size wasn't big enough for bunnies or guinea pigs, but it had little hooks to attach it to the cage bars again. And it wasn't reinforced or anything like that, but it didn't seem to need to be. It was just a nice soft toy. Then we had the small animal tunnel, which was the only disappointing item that I think I'd gotten up until this point. It was not actually a tunnel, despite that's what the listing is saying it was going to be. It was some sort of a fleece and corduroy hammock. Still reasonably well made and cute, but not a tunnel. And then we had this adorable little leash and it had a little bell and harness. The only drawback for this was that the adjustability was rather limited and the clips were a little hard to take apart. But the biggest issue was that no matter how small I made it, my rats just walked right out of it. So maybe good for a guinea pig or a ferret, but even my fairly chunky rats were just too small for this adorable little leash. So shame it wasn't further adjustable. And then we've got one of these wire filled ropes. This was really quite nice. It wasn't the cheapest item that I got but it was fairly solid, well made, and the plastic ends appear like they could screw onto the bars of the cage without any issues, and indeed later on when we put them together they did. They may not be suitable for a bird because I think a bird would probably chew through the plastic fairly quickly, but the rats did a good job and seemed to enjoy it. We have another little cave bed here with the owls on it, and it was very cute and quite nice. The owls had a nice padding to them and had little hooks for hanging them onto the side of the cage as usual. And it seemed to hang at a bit of an angle so the animals could climb in and just snuggle up in the little hammock. Then we had the little knotted rope hammock. This was made out of some sort of a fairly light, soft rope. It's cute, but it's not very heavy duty, not very durable. Um, I think this was more designed with birds in mind than rodents, but 
it's at least something that'll keep them busy. And for the price, the carabiners alone were probably worth it. So if you can, give me a like and a subscribe on this, and we'll see if we can make some more of these for you, because I quite enjoyed this. Once again, here is a little overview of everything that we got from the order. And the playpen, which I'll show you a little bit more about later. The leash, which sadly doesn't fit. And the various hammocks and tunnels and beds. Pardon the mess. <laughs> Here's the playpen that I was talking about opened up. It's quite sizable. It gives you plenty of room to let your little animals run around, though I don't think it's actually large enough for the cats or the dogs I recommend it. But how do the rats like it, though? They certainly seem to thoroughly enjoy little tubes. New stuff to chew on, Mom? probably the greatest of the bunch. And this is Moira. Moira's lump is being seen by a vet and she is going in for surgery shortly to get that removed. So don't worry about that. She's being taken care of. And Vivian going in for a dive because Vivian's favorite place to be is curled up hiding in some place soft and cozy. Overall, they seem to quite enjoy exploring their new toys and playing in their playpen. So, I'd say overall this is quite a positive verdict from both me and the rats. I would definitely buy more rat supplies for people.